Hello students let's start our today's science class we have already started our chapter number 3 that is fiber to fabric in this video we are going to discuss about that what are the steps through which we will obtain wool so let's start our today's class hello students let's start our chapter number 3 that is fiber to fabric we have already started this chapter and in our previous video we have learnt about wool from ship we learned that the hairy coat of the ship has two types of fiber first the coarse beard hair and the second one is the soft under hair that is found close to the skin in this video we are going to learn about that we also obtain wool from other animals so let's see example kashmiri goat angora goat llama alpaca camel and angora rabbit so these are the animals from which we also obtain wool so let's see each of them so let's see the picture which is given on the screen this is the picture of angora goat so students the angora goat is originally from the angora region in turkey angora wool is obtained from angora goats angora goats are found in hilly regions such as jammu and kashmir so students let's see the picture which is given on the screen this is the picture of kashmiri goat so pashmina wool is obtained from kashmiri goat this uh, fiber is soft providing great warmth the goats are found in high plateau of asia now let's see the picture of camel camel hair is obtained from the very soft and fine fur of the undercoat of the camel now see the picture of alpaca and llama alpaca and llama are other animals of the camel's family that give wool the wool obtained from these animals is soft and lightweight These animals are found in Peru, Bolivia and Argentina. Let's see the picture of Angora rabbit. The Angora rabbit is also well known for its fine wool. It is also originally from the Angora region of the Turkey. Each rabbit can only provide a small amount of Angora. It means that this fine wool fiber is very very expensive. so the expensive fiber is often combined with other fibers so now students it is clear to you that we also obtain wool from other animals one more animal we have that is yak yak wool is obtained commonly in tibet and ladakh so students it is clear to you that we obtain wool from sheep as well as we obtain wool from other animals also so it is a time to know about wool production there are many steps involved in producing wool which is used for knitting sweaters or weaving shawls now these steps are as follows so these steps are shearing scoring sorting and grading dyeing drying and spinning so these are the steps through which we can obtain wool from ship so students the first step of wool production is shearing now what is shearing the process of removal of fur from the coat of an animal is called shearing shearing is done with a manual razor and a blade so the fleece of sheep is saved off along with a thin layer of skin so a thin layer of skin of sheep is only shaved off in olden days this was done using a pair of metal blades but now a days a machine is used to cut off the fleece this is similar to saving of beard or cutting hair so it means that just like hair cuts shearing does not hurt the sheep so this process is called shearing shearing is done generally in summer so that new hair can grow by winter to get protection against cold now next step we have 
scoring so fleece after shearing is washed properly to remove dirt and grease so grease means what oily substances which is uh, uh, present uh, inside fleece so after getting fleece that fleece is washed to remove dirt and grease the washing of fleece after shearing is called scoring scoring is done either in tank or in machines so students after scoring next step we have sorting and grading what is the meaning of sorting sorting means to separate alag alag karna to arrange to clarify and next we have grading so what is the meaning of grading grading means to put things into groups according to their quality size etc so after scoring fleece are sorted according to texture this process is called sorting grading involves grouping wool fibers according to their length color and texture grading can also be done according to the quality of wool so now students it is clear that sorting and grading of wool is done according to its length color texture so now it is time to know about the quality of wool so let's try to understand this what is quality of wool and how it is decided so parameters are given you see that length durability and elasticity absorption of moisture insulating nature crimp and fire resistant okay so let's we will discuss one by one meaning of all these terms so students let's talk about the properties of wool qualities of wool so first quality is length what is length length means lambai so a fine quality wool fiber is longer than the coarse one it means that the wool which is fine quality which is very very soft its length is always longer than the coarse one coarse means hard one rough one next we have durability and elasticity so du durability means long lasting tikau and elasticity means stretchability jo easily se stretch hota ho aur fir अपने पोजीशन को दोबारा से मेंटेन कर लेता हो सो अ गुड एग्जांपल वी हैव रबर बैंड्स रबर बैंड्स को आप लीजिए और उसको पुल कीजिए स्ट्रेच जब आप उसको पुल कीजिएगा व्हाट यू विल सी दैट इट्स एक्सपेंड इन साइज एज यू लीव फिर उसको मतलब उसको छोड़ दो उसको जब पुल कर रहे हो तो क्या हो जाएगा उसकी साइज बढ़ जाएगी और जैसे आप उसको छोड़ोगे it again comes to its original position same quality wool fiber has so let's talk about durability and elasticity a fine quality wool fiber is hard wearing that retains its appearance fine even after using several times mean to say that wool is a hard fiber that retains its nice appearance for a very long time so students next quality is absorption of moisture wool fiber draws moisture from the body and absorb it this generates heat and keep the body warm okay so it's mean that wool draws moisture from our body and absorbs it inside its fiber heat is generated as the moisture is absorbed thus the garment stays warm without feeling wet next quality is insulating nature what is the meaning of insulating insulating means to prevent heat from passing into or out of a body so it is one of the best quality of wool that is insulating nature the wool fiber have tiny gaps between them that traps air making wool a perfect insulator so tiny gaps are present between the fibers so these tiny gaps are present between the wool fiber that traps air and make wool as a perfect insulator next we have crimp so what is the meaning of crimp crimp means 
कॉम्प्रेस इन टू स्मॉल फोल्ड्स और रेजेस तो क्रिम का मतलब होता है सिकुड़ना मोड़ जो मोड़ होते हैं वुल फाइबर में उसको हम क्रिम्प कहते हैं सो द क्रिम्प और बैंड्स इन वुल फाइबर मेक इट सॉफ्ट एंड स्पॉन्जी टू टच फाइन फाइबर्स सच एस मेरीनो हैव मोर क्रिम्स सो मेरीनो द वुल विच वी ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम मेरीनो शिप इट इज़ द फाइन एंड बेस्ट क्वालिटी ऑफ वुल सो फाइन एंड बेस्ट क्वालिटी वुल इट हैज मोर क्रिम्प एंड ड्यू टू दैट इट इज वेरी वेरी फाइन क्वालिटी ऑफ वुल बिकॉज क्रिम्प मेक्स फाइबर सॉफ्ट एंड स्पॉन्जी लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वालिटी ऑफ वुल दैट इज फायर रेसिस्टेंट वन ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ वुल इज इट्स एबिलिटी टू नॉट कैच फायर The wool fabric does not burn easily. It requires more oxygen than is available in the air to become flammable. What is the meaning of flammable? Flammable means able to burn easily. So all these are the qualities of wool due to which wool is very important fiber for us. After sorting and grading fluffy fibers called burr are placed out from here so what is burr burr are the small soft fluffy fibers in wool this burr can be removed manually the fibers are scored again and dried to make them ready to be drawn into fibers after sorting and grading we have dyeing the natural color of fleece is white brown or black thus the sheared wool is dyed in different colors so students let's talk about our next step that is drying in this process containers of wool are put through rollers to squeeze out as much water as possible so in this method uh, wool containers jo hote hain unko उनके ऊपर से रोलर्स को पास किया जाता है तो इससे क्या होता है कि जो भी वाटर होता है वुल के अंदर वो सारा का सारा बाहर आ जाता है वो आ, मतलब स्क्वीज वाटर को वुल फाइबर से स्क्वीज कर दिया जाता है रोलर्स के थ्रू स्क्वीज का मतलब होता है निचोड़ना आफ्टर दैट वुल इज वेट एंड पैक्ड इन टू बेल सो वॉट इज बेल A wool bell bell is a standard size and weighted pack of classed wool compressed by the mechanical means of wool press. Okay, so ये जो bells बनाए जाते हैं इन ये wool को press करके बनाए जाते हैं So ये mechanical भी होता है और it is done by through wool press also. तो wool को प्रेस करते हैं मतलब दबाते हैं जिससे वो कंप्रेस हो जाता है और फिर तब उसको कंप्रेस्ड फॉर्म में पैक किया जाता है जिसको हम बेल्स कहते हैं दे आर देन ट्रांसपोर्टेड टू द मिल्स वेयर द फर्दर प्रोसेसिंग इज डन एंड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ बेल्स दे आर ट्रांसपोर्टेड टू मिल्स वेयर प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ वुल इज टेक प्लेस सो नेक्स्ट स्टेप वी हैव कार्डिंग What is carding? So carding is a process that cleans and uh, separate the intermixed fiber to form continuous fiber. So let's see that carding. The fiber then undergo the process of carding. The fibers are cleaned and intermixed fibers are separated to form continuous fibers. In carding the wool fibers are passed through a series of metal teeth that straightens the fiber carding also remove the residual dirt and other matter left in the fiber so uh, it means by the help of carding cleaning also take place it means dirt dirt and other impurities that is present in the fiber it is removed so students our next step is spinning of wool fibers the fiber are then straightened combed and rolled into yarns so in this way we will get yarn 
by spinning of wool fibers. The long fibers are made into wool which is used in knitting sweaters. So it means that uh, the long fiber which is made into wool is used for knitting sweaters and the short fibers are used to weave woolen fabrics or the short, short fibers of the unse woolen fabrics banaye jate hain. So these all are steps through which we will get wool. So now students let's see that uses of wool. So wool has following uses. It is used to make winter wear like sweater, shawls etc. It is used to make blankets and carpets. It is used for soundproofing. What is soundproofing? Soundproofing is done to either block noise from entering a room or to block noise from leaving room. So it means that really wool is very very important fiber because it is used as a soundproofing material also. So that's all for today's class. Next topics we will discuss in our next video. Till that you have to make notes of this chapter. So please make your notes in neat and clean handwriting. So students stay home, stay healthy, use mask and sanitizer and maintain social distancing also. Thanks for watching this video.